I heard both those movies were awful. Well, yeah, that's the point. You see, the first Tuesday of every month, Josh and I see the worst movie out there. We call it Bad Movie Tuesday. So which one you want to see? Welcome to the first Bad Movie Tuesday. I think this will be a fun one to start with. Spawn is a two-star movie from the late 90s. It's a cult classic to some. And after reading through some huge breakdowns of this film, I softened into some of the criticisms while retaining that it's still not good, but a little more respect. Here's why. <laughs> what a mess. It's also kind of cool. Somehow this feels so quintessentially 90s, attempting to balance edginess with camp. And the cool factor was schlock. It largely doesn't work, and it doesn't feel like the right tone of Spawn from the comics I've been exposed to. But it's got more redeeming factors than most would admit. It doesn't make it close to good, but it's not even close to the worst CBM. But man, had it come out 10 years earlier, it'd probably be considered a classic. Had it come out 10 years later, it would have aged better visually and probably been a little bit more polished. I get why it's a cult classic for some, and could maybe see myself softening to it further over time, but for as of right now, it's kind of bad. You can tell it's a bunch of visual effects guys trying to show off new tech at the time with a limited budget. And boy, does it show. Credit where credit is due, there are times some of the CG actually looks mildly impressive considering the time and the money involved. But the issue with those moments is that they're used far too often as a crutch for good filmmaking technique. Most of the time, they just look out of place or worse, downright awful. 90% of it looks like an upscale PS2 cutscene that has not aged well. Few good shots notwithstanding. And it feels like they spent most of that VFX budget on all of the cape scenes, which admittedly do actually look kind of awesome and impressive to this day. But where the film really shines is its production design and practical effects. Now you guys know I try to look for the good in all these things, and if you like that approach, please smash that like button, subscribe, and ring that bell for more notifications. Never Spawn focuses on on those things, the production design, the practical effects, it feels like it's coming close to the grit Spawn requires. The suit itself is realized extremely well, but they spend way too long not showing it or showing the disfigured face of Al Simmons more when you have some of the coolest character designs in comics being Spawn's suit. When the action happens, it can be fun, but it's mostly poorly framed and incoherently edited. But the worst part, there's barely any of it. When the big showdown happens in the green screen hell, see what I did there? It becomes so silly, so absurd, you kind of just have to laugh or shake your head and it looks very dated. The script is bad and most of the performances are somehow worse, especially Martin Sheen giving probably a loan of his career. He chews it up in all of the wrong ways. Now Michael J. White does what he can, he fits the role well and plays it admirably as does the guy playing Cogliostro. But I gotta give John Le Leguizamo, I can't pronounce that, I'm so sorry, some props because he chewed up every scene he possibly could as Violator and turns into a very memorable performance that kind of makes the movie. Now I remember thinking this movie was bad as a kid, but I wanted to like it. I cannot, but but I admit that the coolness of one of the most enduring, most epically designed comic characters of all time makes me curious. It's the first major black comic book film and it gets props for what it helped to start. I just wish it was better. Very curious about Spawn as a character. I've been told to read Spawn 1 through 100 and stop. And as a Christian, that's where I know where I will end based on what I have seen that comes later. The premise is fascinating in that arc and there's so much potential for an adaption or a trilogy. What happened here? That wraps it up for our first Bad Movie Tuesday, inspired by Drake and Josh. Remember, always look for the good, even in the bad.